Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is, I'm going to say it again, another exciting one and it's another exciting collab with my beautiful friend Anki of Makeup by Anki. If you don't know who she is, you need to go check her out. She does a lot of colourful makeup looks and she's just such a lovely person. I love her to pieces. I will link Anki's channel and her video in the description box below for you to go and check out. Please, please do that. Please go and show my Anki some love. She is, she's so talented and I'm sure you all know who she is anyway. If you're watching my channel, then you more than likely know who she is. So we'd already decided to do a Valentine's collab. Then Anki mentioned uh, building our own Valentine's palettes and I've got a few single shadows now, nowhere near in the vicinity of what Anki has. Um, however, I did have enough, enough of the right colours, I think, to warrant making a Valentine's palette and I loved every second of it. I had so much fun. It just gave me a chance to really feel creative. So this is my Valentine's palette that I built. And let me just show you the shades. So the first shade is this yellow matte called Banana Moon. And that's from the Pastel Roses. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And the next shade is from Lethal Cosmetics and it is Fahrenheit. So that there is Fahrenheit. Beautiful. So the next shade is a pink matte. And that came out of the Makeup Obsession X Ruddy Daydream palette. I just nicked the, the pink from here. Lily, that's it. So this is the shade Lily from the Makeup Obse Obsession X Ruddy Daydream palette. I needed a pink matte. So the next shade that I have is from Makeup by Lisa, and it is the shade Cindy. And so there is Cindy, absolutely beautiful pink shimmer. And the next shade is Watermelon from the Pastel Roses. And this is look at that look at that how ooh, can you see that how stunning is that and then the next shade is from cleona cosmetics and it is calcs and this here oh look at that that is calcs absolutely gorgeous look at that so the next shade i have i needed a deep dark color so i've got cobwebs from makeup by lisa it's a like dark gunmetal gray shimmer absolutely gorgeous and this here is cobwebs look at that just wow look at that the next shade I have is Cupcake from the Pastel Roses. And this, oh, look at that. Look at that. The next shade is Snowdrift from Cleona Cosmetics. absolutely stunning so the final shade in my valentine's palette is from colourpop and it is the shade up front and there we have my valentine's palette swatched out 
So guys, if you want to see how I created this look and one other look using my Build Your Own Valentine's palette, then just keep on watching. So I have primed my eyes using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. Everything else I have on my face will be listed in the description box below. So the first colour that we are heading into in this first look is this Pink Matte, which is the one from the Makeup Obsession X Ruddy Daydream Palette. It's taking a bit of that pink on a Spectrum B07. I'm just going to take that through my crease. I do really like the quality of the uh, shadows in the Makeup Obsession palette, I do have to say. Beautiful. So this is my first time creating like my own building my own palette from my collection of singles. Um, I don't have a massive collection of singles as yet. Um, I'm extremely jealous of Anki's collection of singles. She just has just so many beautiful ones and we have a very, very similar taste in colour stories, which uh, you will probably know if you watch both of us. If you don't by any chance know who Anki is, for some strange reason, you've been living under a rock, I don't know. Um, if you love colour, colourful makeup, you really need to check her out. She is so talented and she is just the loveliest person i love her to bits we speak almost every day um in whatsapp and i think the world of her and i am so excited to see the looks that she's created with her palette and what her palette looks like because i am definitely gonna love it she was definitely not as limited as me as to what eyeshadows she can use because uh, her collection is awesome. So I'm really blending that out. I think for this first look, I'm going for more of a softer, softer look. We'll see. Yeah, that's looking very pretty. So I just want to deepen up. So the shade I'm going to go in and deepen up with is Fahrenheit by Lethal Cosmetics. This is my first time using Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows or any of their products. And I'm really, really excited. So I'm just using a Spectrum A12 to dip into that. And we're going to use that to deepen up the outer V. And in the crease, ooh. oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. So have you guys got any uh, nice plans for Valentine's Day? I know we're not in a position where we can uh, go out and do anything. <laughs> but do you guys have traditions with your partners or, or just your friends, yourself? What do you guys do? I think... Uh, this year, me and my boyfriend will be watching, probably watching a film with some snacks, just something nice and simple. I think that suits both of us better anyway. I am loving this shade, absolutely loving it. So before Valentine's Day, well actually it will be yesterday to you guys watching um my daughter turns 16 that makes me feel old 16 where has the time gone i i have no idea so yeah in a, just a matter of days for me and yesterday for you mother of a 16 year old i barely feel like a grown-up myself at times I always remember my nan saying to me, I'm still 18 in my head and I know what she means now. I always thought it was a bit of an odd thing to say, but she wasn't your conventional nan anyway. <laughs> so uh, yeah, 
that was her take on things. Right, I am really, really happy with how that's looking. I'm just going to take just a touch more of the pink over the edges to blend them out just a little bit more. So I do want it to be quite soft. I'm just making sure to wing that out a bit to get the shape, keep the shape, keep the shape, just so I have the shape I want. And just a touch more of Fahrenheit just to really amp that up a bit. And then a touch of pink over the top just to really wing that out some more. Yeah, I'm very happy with how that is looking. So I'm going to quickly nip off and pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then I'll come back to finish the eye look with you. Glitter Primer on and for the outside of my lid, I'm going in with this beautiful pink shimmer from Makeup by Lisa, the shade Cindy. Cindy is going to be going just right here on this very outer edge. I'm putting it on a diagonal um, just purely because I like this shape on my eyes. I love this shimmer. It's such a beautiful shimmer. It's going to be so interesting to see the looks that Anki creates and just to see if we've chosen anything similar. We do tend to have quite a uh, similar taste in, uh, in colour story so it is definitely going to be an interesting one. See, I do love this pink shimmer, Cindy. Um, the brush I used was from Miali Beauty. Nice flat brush. And then with a Morphe M -M -M Mitchell collection brush, or flat one, I am going to be going in with Calx from Cleona Cosmetics. Beautiful colour. I can't wait to see this on. This is such a beautiful colour. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So I'm just going to tap it there where they meet and then I'll go back in with Cindy in a moment to uh, tap some more. Look at that. I just want to swoosh that a bit because I don't want that to be like a harsh cut crease line as such. Oh look at that. That is such a beautiful shade. I don't know if you can pick up the shifts. It's got like pink, purple, blue. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous shade. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. So just going back in with the brush that I used for Cindy. I haven't put any extra product on there. I just want to see if I can... Oh, look at that. It's such a pigmented shimmer. It's beautiful. Just taking the tiniest bit of Cindy and just tapping that over the line. So for the lower lash line, I'm just dipping in to Fahrenheit from Lethal Cosmetics with a Zoeva 226 smudger. And I'm just going to be stamping that against the lower lash line there. I don't want that to come down too far because uh, I want it to remain quite a soft look. And then with this Jessup 230 Luxe Pencil Brush, I'm going to dip into a little bit of that pink from the Makeup Obsession palette. And I'm just gonna smudge out the edges with that pink, just a tiny bit. So like I said, I don't want it to be harsh. I just want a nice soft blend there. 
So for my inner corner, I'm going to be going in with Snowdrift from Cleona Cosmetics. Beautiful blue shade. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. And just bringing that underneath a bit there, just to connect it up to that pink. And raising it up just a little bit to connect to the upper lid. Look at that colour. So pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. And then for the brow bone highlight, I'm going to be going in with this uh, little ColourPop shimmer up front. So just tiny bit of that and tucking that just underneath the brow there perfect I am loving how this is looking so far I feel like a really romantic fairy yeah romantic fairy I'm going with that I'm loving it I'm going to nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you finished look number one so I'm back with finished look number one. What do you think? I'm really happy with it. Um, just to let you know what else I've popped on my face. I've got the Barry M That's How I Roll Mascara. The liner is the Catitude 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive. Um, in my waterline is the Catrice 18 Hour Colour and Contour Eye Pencil in Bright Lavender. The lashes I have on are from Artitude Cosmetics in the style Flirty, which I thought was quite appropriate. Um, the blush that I have on is from Pout and Shout, it is Typhoid Mary. This one over here. The highlighter is from Makeup by Lisa in the shade Pink Sunshine. And the lipstick I have on is from Lime Crime. It's their matte velveteens in the shade Thistle. I just thought rose and thorns, valentines. I don't know, I thought it went. And uh, I think the colour goes too. So yes, this is look number one. And I will now hand you on over to future me with look number two. So for look number two, I've already primed my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. Everything I have on my face already will be listed in the description box below so that you can check that out should you wish to. So the first shade I'm going in with today is from the Pastel Roses and it is the shade Banana Moon. So just taking a Spectrum BO7, I'm going to be taking that through my crease. Oh wow, okay. That is a pigmented yellow. So I think yellow is a colour that Anki's not going to have in her palette, but we'll see. I'm actually really digging this yellow. It's really pigmented and it's blending lovely. Okay. So pastel roses. I have my eye on you now. So then I'm going to be going in with Fahrenheit from Lethal Cosmetics. I'm going in with a Spectrum A12. I'm going to be placing that in the outer V there. I really love the quality of this eyeshadow. It is the only <laughs> eyeshadow I have tried so far from Lethal. But this colour just has me, really has me. <laughs> and I'm just going to drag that through the crease, just at the lower part there, to blend up into the yellow. So just blending that out and just gently winging it. And then just dipping back in with a touch of the yellow there, just to bring that back over the edges. Oh, look at that. I can't get over how pigmented and beautiful this yellow is. I am absolutely living for this yellow shade. This is beautiful. 
beautiful. Yeah, if you're looking for a nice yellow, head on over to Pastel Roses because, uh, what's it called again? Banana Moon is amazing. Okay, so let me just pop off camera, pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then we'll continue. Okay, so NYX Glitter Primer on. I'm first going to be going in with this shimmer here. This is from Makeup by Lisa. The shade is Cobwebs. So just taking that on a Beauty Bay BB206 flat brush. And this literally right at the very outer edge here. And then just stamping it just there. I'm just going to smudge the edges just a little bit because I don't want it to be a harsh B. Okay, so outer corners deepen. And I'm next going in with the shade Cupcake. This is from Pastel Roses. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just taking that on the Miali Beauty flat brush. And I'm going to be placing this one. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. I'm just going to tap that over the darker shade there because I don't want the darker shade to be the most prominent. I want the... Wow, this is not what I was expecting at all. Okay, Pastel Roses, I am blown away by this shade. Absolutely blown away. Oh, wow. Just look at that. Mm. And then for the inner part, I'm going to be going in with the shade Watermelon, also from the Pastel Roses. So I just swirled my brush around in the middle to mix the two shades and this is a Morphe and M -M -M Mitchell brush. This is stunning. All I know is that now I am definitely going to need more from the Pastel Roses. Wow, look at that. And just tapping that one just over the one next to it. Oh, look at that. I cannot get over that. My word, just look at that. I'm in love, completely and utterly in love. And now I need to decide what I want to do with the lower lash line. With my Zoeva 226 smudger, I'm gonna dip into a bit of cobwebs, the black shimmer there from Makeup by Lisa. And I'm just gonna literally stamp that right just on that outer bit here, just the outer third, just to give that just a little bit of depth. Just using the same brush, I've just wiped it off. I'm gonna dip into Fahrenheit by Lethal Cosmetics, the red shade. And I'm just gonna take that just a little bit further and just smudge that against the edge of the black. Again, I don't wanna come down too far. I just want it to peek through. So I'm just taking a little Morphe a little Morphe fluffy brush um, dipping into the yellow from the Pastel Roses and I'm just going to bring that pretty much all the way along the edge there. Oh, this yellow is absolutely gorgeous. I've had my eye on Pastel Roses for a while but I I wasn't aware I was missing out quite to this extent. Wow. I wasn't going to do this, but what the hell. Um, so I'm going to go in with Cleaner Cosmetics Snowdrift. 
and place that right there on the very inner corner and just dragging it under slightly there just for the first third or first little bit this is another colour I have fallen in love with look at that for a brow bone highlight use the Colourpop up front shimmer just taking a tiny bit of that and tucking that right up there under the brow beautiful I am loving this so I'm going to nip off finish my face and then I will be back to show you finished look number two okay guys so here is finished look number two so let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite look one or look two I am aware this isn't your traditional kind of Valentine's look but I'm not kind of a traditional makeup wearer generally and this would be my idea of a perfect date night look Valentine's look and uh, I am loving it absolutely loving it so I'll just let you know what else I've popped on my face um, before we continue so the mascara is the barium that's how I roll the black eyeliner is the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude liner and lash adhesive in one the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics in the style flirty the eyeliner in my waterline is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green. The blush is from Makeup by Lisa and it is the Mineral Blush in the shade Coral. And the highlighter is also from Makeup by Lisa in the shade Pink Sunshine. Lipstick is from Melt. It is their Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Dark Room. I just thought it's kind of vampy purpley red I just thought it went really well with the look I like it anyways um so yes all of the products I've used from look one and look two will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to so yes this here was my take on a, a valentine's palette I'm really happy with it it's I think beautiful and I love both looks part of me wants to say look one but this watermelon shade from the pastel roses has won my heart over I am in love with it if you don't know who Anki is by now then uh, what are you doing go and subscribe to her and thank you so so much Anki for collabing with me again is I love you a bit girl so if you're here from Anki's channel, hi, welcome, I'm Steph, it's good to have you here. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting the subscribe button. I do a lot of colourful makeup looks, mostly colourful makeup looks, and I mainly promote indie brands on my channel. Um, I'm very passionate about indie brands and supporting them. So that is something that you will see a lot of on my channel. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. So I hope you're all having a great day or a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.